Hello, I'm Beth Reesgraff, and I play Parker on Leverage. And I'm Al Hodge, and I play Hardison. We'd like to say thank you for everybody tuning in and enjoying the web chat. We know um, some of you are up really late. Like 2 a.m. Yeah, staying up to catch this, so hopefully we live up to your expectations. <laughs> well, thank you. And, uh, and I guess we're going to start answering questions now. So That's here's good. the first one. I'll be the moderator. Hmm. <clears throat> this one is for Beth. Okay, this one's from Facebook for Beth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Do you want to ask me the ones for I'm me? <clears throat> Beth, what has it been like playing someone with Parker's social quirks? Well, um, I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of fun. I really, really love uh, being able to be um, uh, quirky and play someone who's different from your everyday kind of gal. So I've, I've loved it and embraced it and I think I'm re actually really thankful because I, I have fun with my job and they always throw different things at me every episode to play and I can pretty much say anything as Parker so <laughs> it keeps it really exciting I love it oh so this one's for Aldous yes. from Facebook do you have real life hacking skills <laughs> absolutely not everybody asks me this I uh I've learned a little bit I've even picked up a few books but I'm too afraid to try hacking. I'm not trying to get caught and go to jail. And, you know, it's, I, I'll keep it on the screen. You know, Aside from that back. time you hacked into my Beth, account. <coughs> that's what we were talking about. I thought, I, thought, I thought we grew past For Aldous. How? Do people in real life ask you for computer help? <laughs> yes, they do. And I let people down every day, constantly. Could you help me with my um, laptop in a few minutes? What do you need? What do you need? Yeah, I mean, I, I can. I, yes, yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. Oh, uh, for uh, This one is for Beth. If you were a character in real life, what item would you steal? Oh, if I was my character? If I was part of real life? If you were your life, character in real life. Oh, what would I steal? I can't read that. Oh, goodness gracious. A lot of things, I suppose. Um, well, tell us about the things you have stolen in the past. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I might steal uh, this vintage Mercedes that I saw the other day that was really beautiful. It's a pretty color. Um, I might steal that, and then I'd possibly steal some, yeah, I think I'd go steal some art. From my apartment, I see what this is. I think I'd steal some, no, you know, some Abaddon, some Versailles, some, uh, yeah, I'd steal a lot of photographs, <laughs> I think. Like that one on your wall, that's still one. Let's see, and that one, last question was from Facebook. This one is from Facebook as well. For both of us. Mm -hmm. Would you guys like to film an episode in Alaska? Heck yeah. Yes, absolutely. I mean, technically, the first episode was supposed to take class, class in class, Alaska. Class, class, Take place in Alaska. Class, class in Alaska. But yes, I would love to go to Alaska. Yeah. I wanted, I heard those cruises are great in Alaska where you go through the glaciers and it's supposed to be, I would love it, yes. I want to go up there and check out the uh, Aurora Borealis and also, you know, it's like six months of sun and six months of night. I want to go check that out. Okay. Keep sending in your questions, by the way. <laughs> Bring them on in. You're supposed to give me that note. So, <laughs> otherwise, we'll be sitting here with nothing to say and it'd be really boring. Because this is important. Uh, okay. So, Facebook, <laughs> what similarities are there between you and your characters? I'll let you go first. Uh, the sarcasm in my character, that's something that uh, our, our writers and producers have been gracious enough to allow me to introduce and, and uh, continue to elaborate on with my character. It's definitely that, that sense of humor, that wit, that, that, uh, that quickness, and, you know, I got a big mouth on me. I, I'll say what I feel when I feel yeah. it. So, there it goes. What's the, mm -hmm. What's the, mm -hmm. That right there. What about, what, what about you? <laughs> Hands. My, um, I guess I, I would say, uh, I think I've said this one before, but I think it's true. The tomboy sort of aspect, I guess. Um, as much as I'm a girly girl, I really have always sort of been a tomboy. So I share that with Parker. And uh, facial expressions, you know, used to get teased a lot as a kid for not being always the cutest uh, girl on the block with my facial expressions too. and things. Not so, sure. yeah, no, no, I would I say, like, those quirks, those, like, physical quirks, I, yeah, I do some not. of that stuff. Yeah, that does have a lot of quirks. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so Facebook question. Does Parker have a last name, or is Parker her last name? It's just Parker. <laughs> okay. Ah, for Beth. For Beth. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did. <clears throat> Beth. Yes. You seem to work a lot in high places. Are you scared of heights? 
Actually, that's a good question because I, I never really thought about it before. I'm not afraid of heights, but um, uh, there have been a few times where I, we did one episode where I was tethered to the top of this building and I had like a two foot ledge. And even though I knew I was harnessed into the, the back of the wall, that I actually had a little bit of fear kick up. Like, wow, I, uh, well, really high up right now. And I had to crawl along the ledge. So that was a little scary. But so in general, no, I'm we not. 40 stores. Yeah, that one. Was, <laughs> that was terrifying. The first episode we ever did. But, um, but yeah, no, no fear of heights. Good tabs. Also, Facebook. Blitz and glamour aside, what's the toughest part of your jobs? Hmm. I'll let you go. I think the scheduling is hard. That's the hardest part. Our hours are crazy, and uh, we have full time jobs, but it's full time plus, I feel like, being away from our families and our friends and our homes. And um, the hours, it's just there's not a lot of predict when it comes to what we do. So I would say. Um, you know, the constant change in the long, long weeks. I mean, we, yeah. we film the equivalent of a feature film every two weeks, which is kind of insane. So, That's true. so yeah, I would say that would be my answer, which is... My, I would say that uh, the <laughs> hardest part, yeah, really, uh, <laughs> you know, certain people are very difficult to... Sorry, no, really, answer. I'll, I'll let you uh, Oh, no, uh, really, my real answer is the hardest part would be uh, working with that. No, um, being away from my family, being away from my family is. You got something to say? Yeah, go ahead. Go, go on, speak your mind. Speak your mind. Go ahead, say it, say it. Go on, say it. It's fear. Let's be honest. No, it's uh, <laughs> the hardest part is being away from my family uh, and, and uh, you know, all my good friends and my, my dogs. Love my dogs to death. So it's just a little rough, you know, having a child, but gotta bring home that bacon. It's gotta happen something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to go ahead and take a break for a second to give a shout out to Loco32. <laughs> I see what it sees. Now, uh, we let's see. Oh, okay, we get more questions. I dig it. How often do you get called by your character name instead of your real name? <laughs> uh, well, uh, huh. It's kind of a mix. You know, sometimes people, it's weird, people know the character name. And they can call that faster than they can call the show. She was like, hey, you, 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 Hardison, right? From uh, 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 the, uh, the show, uh, Y'all Steal Stuff. Leverage. Yeah, leverage, man. It was right, it was right there. You know, but they, they, now it's becoming a little bit more prominent for people to, to call me by my real name, which yeah. is actually scary. It's weird, you know, walking down the street. Ow, this what? Like, I don't know. These yeah. People. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's weird. You get, wait, you get a lot of that, like, um, Hey, I know you from somewhere. Do we go to school together? Wait, no, you look All familiar. the time. Yeah, so that's that's one thing. I, just, I don't get called. I get called Parker sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, they, they get excited. Like kids love love saying like you're you're Parker, and I'm like yeah. You know it's. You, so you it's, realize your name in my phone is Parker. I don't. I don't know your name. I don't care who your name is. Yeah, it's just Parker. It's, Somebody it's, in Portland it's, named their dog Parker, and I got to meet the cute little pooch. So that was. That was sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, which of your castmates do you think is most like the character they play? Can we say this uh, at the same time? Oh, one, two, three. Great Oh, I can't <laughs> read the question at the same time. <laughs> yes. Well, I. I Let's try it again. One, okay. two, three. Christian. <laughs> okay. If you could switch, oh, I'm bossing around. No, 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 no. Okay. If you could switch characters with a castmate, which one would you choose to play? I don't want to switch with anybody. If I had to switch, I would probably switch with Parker because you get to climb buildings and steal stuff, and I secretly had an, a, an affinity for wanting to steal things. <clears throat> so that's it. You? I think I yeah. I don't want to switch, but um, gosh, if I had to switch, I want to be one of the boys because. That's a total switch, right? So I would be, um, <laughs> hmm. Well, I can't pick. I'm sorry, that sucks. That's not really the answer you're looking for. I don't know, because I like something about everybody. <laughs> I spend a lot of time with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bluesy. Okay. Bluesy92 asks, if the first. 42? No, it says 92. Is it 42 or 92? It doesn't matter. Uh, because it, it, we'll it, say both. Bluesy 92, 92, 92 and Bluesy 42. Mm -hmm. Either way, <laughs> I can't see. Uh, it, it asked, it, in the first episode of this season, it's implied someone is as smart as Hardison. Now, 
if uh, they ask me, it, it, does that mean chaos is returning this season? I can't tell. I can't. I can't. I. I. You know, I we're to sworn to secrecy yeah. right now. Sorry. I'm sorry. But I mean, if that means you want chaos back, I mean, you, you gotta drop a couple lines. TNT, you know, you could always go on their website, you know, check us out, and hit hint to the producers, go hit John Rogers' blog, kungfumonkey.com. Oh, yeah, kungfumonkey.com, blogspot.com. Yeah, blogspot.com. Okay. He always, by the way, has, uh, I don't know if you guys all know about this, but every week after the episode airs, he um, answers questions yeah, about the episode, so you guys answer. can submit to John Rogers. The creator of the show. Creator of the show. Uh, questions, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if you could switch characters. We did that. Nice. How much real life training or preparation do each of you have to do for your roles? Well, um, I went to jail for real, just to <laughs> see what it was, what it would be, <laughs> be like. You know, it's voluntary, and uh, that's the time that I don't really want to talk about. But yeah, let's just say I take my job very seriously. And mm -hmm. you know, I'm dedicated to the craft. I forgot the question. <laughs> I, uh, how much preparation? I would say in the beginning, uh, not much because I got cast like two days before we started. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, I'm, you know what, it's been a great process. We've all prepped and yeah. gotten to meet uh, Apollo Robbins, who's the show tech consultant when it comes to the world of uh, con Fevery. and Grifters and Thieves. He's um, been really helpful in the writer's room and he's spent a lot of time with us individually. Um, so we've done our research. And yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I actually spoke to uh, uh, Mr. Mitnick, one of the uh, top, actually the top hacker uh, in the world of, of his time. I was on the top of the FPS, most one of us. That was crazy. Now he does good. He's, he's like us. He's like a, a white hat hacker now. He, he hacks for the good. He tests security systems. He protects people now. But, um, yeah, I definitely had some interesting conversations with him. Something I, I, I'm scared to death of the internet now. But uh, <clears throat> let me see. Next question: What can you tell me about tonight's episode? Absolutely nothing. Watch the <laughs> show. What are you asking that question for? We can't tell you. Watch the show. It's crazy. You <laughs> should tell him something. Okay, it's um, a group of thieves come together. To help the little man on a show called Leverage. That's what tonight's show is about. It's it's a uh, it's a departure for Leverage. <laughs> um, in that we flash back to the 1940s. Yes. Yeah. He's just laughing because I'm cheating with my answer. You are cheating. So uh, <laughs> no, Danny Glover stars in tonight's episode. He's amazing. He's amazing. Um, you got to spend the most time with him. I did lucky, actually. Lucky I was lucky. I know. I got really lucky. I uh, got some quality time with DG, as I like to call him. Uh, so is your, your Twitter pals now? Do we have your Facebook friends? No, but we're friends. Though, oh, so right. I see. I see you. He I gave me a donut it. on set. He I, brought in fresh I donuts for everybody, too. which was super I, sweet. It was nice. It was good. And. Um, yeah, it's uh, he basically comes to us. It's a, about a missing Van Gogh painting, and we sort of help trace, tr uh, track yeah. it down, trace the roots of uh, yeah. where where it came from, got lost, and in the midst of it, uh, explore a love story in the 1940s. So mm -hmm. it's it's that one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely yeah. one of my favorite. Yeah. And uh, we should give a little shout out to our costume designer at Navy Painters. She killed this episode. Everything we wore, uh, she pulled from costume houses, and everything was like to the T. Yeah. Uh, period. And the stuff uh, we wore really came from the forties. Yeah. So she she was on her game. Yes. On her game. She so go ahead, Nadine. Mm-hmm. 